Okay. Even from yesterday to today, yeah, I know. has your opinion changed on, sure. on the trajectory? Yeah, because the non-exclusive. Yeah. What this means is it's real. It's, this is a real thing that Lamar Jackson may never play for the Ravens again. This is not all hyped up media stuff. And I think for Ravens fans, today is, is scary. And I think it's sad. But I'll tell you what, for everybody else, come on in. <laughs> Ring the dinner bell. Yeah. You know those dinner bell things? They click, come on in, everybody. <laughs> uh, the Ravens are putting their mansion on the market. You can come in and look at it. You can see the master bedroom. You can see the basement. You can mess with the thermostat. You can see these heated floors in the bathroom. Come around. Put your feet up. Look at this thing. You want it? Come and get it. Because, guys, I, I, informally, I count 16 teams in the league who do not have a slam dunk quarterback situation where the guy is paid or he's great and he's definitely starting for us week one. And I count the Packers among those 16. 16. So here's Lamar Jackson, who, as we all know, is 26 and an MVP. Come and get him. You're nobody in this league without a quarterback. Come and get him. I am still skeptical about how many teams are going to right now say, let's go pay 40-plus for Lamar and let's jump into that negotiation that the Ravens spent over a year doing and gotten exactly nowhere. But the Ravens basically said yesterday, you know what? You want him? Come and get him. Come and get him, and maybe we'll match it, maybe we won't. The exclusive would have said, he's a Raven. He's not going anywhere. Non-exclusive? Look around. Come on in, Mike. I look at this situation and I say it's taken so long, right? This has been a, a, a year-long process of trying to get this deal done, and they haven't been able to find a number that works for both sides. And Steve Bashotti, if you remember, when Deshaun Watson got his fully guaranteed contract from Cleveland, he was the very first owner, one of the few that said, mm. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Yeah. yeah, he was pissed. And now you have a line in the sand with Lamar where – Everything you hear, and again, not hearing it from Lamar because Lamar's not talking. We haven't heard from Lamar since before week 13. Then he got hurt <laughs> in the Denver game. That's it. Occasionally he appears on social media, says a thing, tweets a thing, Instagrams a thing, uh, then takes it down. Yeah. Um, but that's really it from him. And I, I just – there's a gap here and there's a divide. Yeah. And to me, what makes sense is by putting the non-exclusive on, you're saying, Lamar, we can't figure it out. Go find what you're worth. And then we have the opportunity to match. And maybe he finds that north of $230 million that Deshaun Watson got. And the, the Ravens just say, Bye -bye. We, we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, hey, our price, the one we've been giving you, is out there. And it's been out there the whole time. Mm -hmm. And now do you want to play for us because we can match this? The other thing I wonder here, guys, hurt feelings. Mm -hmm. He's his own agent. Instead of having someone be the buffer and hear the bad things that they say about you, that you can't do this, that you're hurt all the time now, the last two seasons you haven't been able to finish the year, um, he has to hear it himself, Aaron. And mm -hmm. sometimes, I don't know, would you want to hear that? Would you want to hear you your bosses tell you, well, we love you, but you're not on the field enough. We love you, but we haven't won a playoff game mm -hmm. in X amount of years. Uh, as an athlete, you're still going to hear it. Your agent's going to call you. You want to know how they really feel about you. Mm. Um, so it may hurt, but they're gonna, you're going to be real and you're going to get some clarity. And I also feel like the Ravens, they, they even though they put the unexclusive on them, I, f I feel like they feel like they're in a comfortable situation like you alluded to. Let's let's get a value for them since we couldn't come to an agreement. Let's, let's, uh, let's let other teams put a value on them and then we got the final say. So I feel like they feel like they're in a comfortable situation. Mm. It, it is an interesting mind game, as it feels like it has been this entire time. But, you know, people have said things. Lamar hasn't said things. The interpretation here is... The Ravens need to somehow, to your point, Mike, get the message across to this guy and that we have a number that we have given you. If you want to go out and I know not claim your 3% because he's not represented by anybody and keep that entire number, then go out and do so. But a very strange thing also transpired yesterday on social media yesterday with all these reports with everyone coming out of the woodwork. Like it was it was almost instantaneous. 4 p.m. Eastern hits, Lamar Jackson gets the non-exclusive franchise tag. 405, the Falcons say they're yeah. not going after Lamar Jackson. It's crazy. 406 p.m. The Dolphins say we're not going after another starting quarterback it's like why and people were calling out the NFL essentially like why are teams doing this very strange all of a sudden for just mm -hmm. the check down the list and to your point Kyle 16 teams I the price tag of this the two mm -hmm. first round draft picks to retain him the only team that I truly can think who's crazy enough to do it is the Colts because if you think about it, the Colts are already in the conversation to give up a first round pick. They want to move up. They want their guy in this year's draft. So one's already out the door. That's next year's first round pick. 
And they are have been kind of the mockery at the quarterback position over the last six years because of the absolute carousel that they have been on in the league. Why not go out and spend this money? No one's going to harp on you in Indianapolis if you go out and spend this money for this young man. 26 years old. And it doesn't have to be a five- or six-year deal. I think maybe to your point, Mike, Lamar Jackson's feelings might be hurt by the Ravens' behavior up until this point. And it might just be better to walk away from this team for a certain price tag that the guaranteed – I'm not going to get into the money because that's not really where I cook, but like <laughs> – Three-year deal. Like, a three-year mm-hmm. deal. Just give him the money that he wants now because maybe he just wants the value in getting out of Baltimore. Could be. And we'll start to figure out the teams that could come after him. And in the meantime, Aaron, are you sitting here watching this being like, WTF, man. Like, this is this is Lamar Jackson. It's crazy. Lamar Jackson, he's one, he's one of the MVP. 26. He's uh-huh. one of the MVP. He's still young, super young. Uh, has a lot of years left in the tank, so it's, it's baffling to me. Right. I mean, it's, I know that it's complicated and there's the dynamic between them and the money, but I know amongst the players, there's a massive respect for him and, like, that he is not just another great quarterback, that he is, like, a one-of-one one type, and yet the Ravens might let him go. And I feel like not just in that locker room, but in that in that city, that community in Baltimore, mm-hmm. they they love mm-hmm. him. He's become a staple in that community. He does a lot in the community as well. Uh, so I feel like that fan base will be hurt if, mm-hmm. if the Ravens let him walk. I'll give you a great example. Training camp this year, it's about 105 degrees. It's disgusting in Baltimore. I'm in Baltimore. There's, <laughs> there's, two, there's two youth football teams <laughs> at the practice, uh. and they're waiting for Lamar to come out. The number eight jerseys, they're all wearing number eight jerseys. Yeah. That's all they cared about. Mm. Yeah, they like Calais Campbell. Sure, Rashad Bateman, J.K. Dobbins. Yeah. But the jersey mm-hmm. yeah. was Lamar. And when Lamar came out, it was like unbelievable. Mm. Th- there's so much respect and love for him. And that would be a big blow for that 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 franchise just because of what he means to them, but to the fan base because they've embraced him. I mean, we have one of the hottest draft picks in the league right now. And Anthony Richards is saying that when he was a kid growing up, he wanted to model himself after Cam Newton and Lamar Jackson to the point where he called himself Cam Jackson growing up. Like, if you're going to do that, like, this guy is bigger than life, even not just in Baltimore. And I I think I I said it's a very sad, frustrating, stressful day for Ravens fans. I'm wary of this dynamic about how do you let this guy go? What are you doing, Baltimore? I feel like they have likely crawled through hell to try to get this deal done, Mm -hmm. and they have tried everything reasonable and maybe even not reasonable. But here's the fun thing. Somebody comes out and gives them the craziest offer ever. Insert team here, Colts, whoever. Baltimore can be like, wow, I guess you were right, Lamar. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. We'll match it. You were right. You win. You're going to be a Raven for life. That's what we wait for now. 